another brand new video on my channel which is about how you can install Quartus Lite which is a Intel FPGA software presented by Intel in order to simulate their different FPGA programs in their own FPGA boards. So I am here to install correctly and appropriately and showing at the same time all the steps how you can download your uh, Intel uh, Quartus Prime Lite which is the free version of their FPGA software and at the on the other hand there is another paid version of there which is Quartus Prime but I will not go through that because as it is a paid software you have to pay a price for it but as there is also a free software I will show you how to install the free version as because the limitation in free version that of uh, the paid version that is Quartus Prime so at first we have to go to this uh, URL that is fpjsoftware.intel.com and here we have to specify the specific version and by default and at the same time model sim as you all know that Quartus Prime and model sim are both of the uh, Intel FPGA essential softwares Quartus Prime is the all in one uh, function software and model sim is the one which is used to design different types of VSTL software you can select here the addition that is the light one uh, which I'll be showing you uh, in this video and another one is the release that is the uh, latest one that is 20.1.1 version uh, you can also choose other types of versions that is 20.1 19.1 and others and so on and so forth and up to 2.2 according to essentials uh, see that there are other versions like Linux and show you how to install the Quartus Prime Lite software edition in Windows only as I am using a Windows PC. So you have to install these two software that is Quartus Prime that includes NIOS to EDS. You have to install it in, a, in order to enable this software that is the main software that the model sim which is the Intel FPGA edition and which also includes at the same time starter edition. Uh, starter edition so this is mainly the software which many of the students of uh, undergraduate levels or masters levels use in order to uh, dif do different types of PSTL codes or uh, on the FPGA of boards okay so this is the main software which we'll be using then here uh, there are many types of uh, devices support softwares and from this uh, range of options that you can see here clearly you can easily say that uh, these are the options enabled in order to install the required FPGA software that you want to install on your that is on your PC in order to run your required FPGA board that is you are using an ARIA 2 device FPGA board or FPGA board of then you have to install this software uh, I'll be using this Cyclone 4 device support software and I'll do try to download using this button it will prompt you to a new page that is uh, FPGA program Intel FPGA program sign in option that means the Intel you, re you are required to install this Quartus Prime software and other ones that I have shown you using a valid University ID and if you want to uh, log in using or register using any other IDs that is email IDs other than your college or universities you can, may not be able to download this software and to register for the first time there is this uh, on the your Intel account if you have you can uh, write your username and password here but let us go for an individual that is the you have to select this option in order to register because if you are an individual and you are not a, you are not running any business so you have to select this then uh, you have to fill this information that is the first time last time and other types of address spaces a uh, required uh, university mail so the required university mail is required in, in order to 
um, ra register for your account as I have said before so you have to uh, in fill other information season name password country region country code and other ones and you have to also go to the enrollment questions that will be uh, asked by them and uh, that's not so tough uh, you can easily answer them and then you have to enable the terms and conditions and you will be redirected this page again that is the download center for FPGS uh, here I have already downloaded the all the other uh, the three essential software that is the cyclone model team and water slide and I'll show you how to proceed on so at, at first you have to install these water slide setup that is the main software which you'll be using at first you'll see at first this window by enabling the all of course that means the price option in order to install then you have to go to next then you have to accept the agreement of the license of course you have to accept the agreement and then go to next option then you will choose the installation directory where you will install your quarters prime light edition then you have to click here if you want to install on a different area here i will be installing on the d drive here so let us uh, name this rename this folder app without giving any space i am saying that without giving any space if you want to write two words you have to write two words connected to me or using any types of special uh, symbols or special types of characters so you have to go, go uh, rename the folder like this and you can press ok you need to go to next ok in here uh, the two options are enabled that is the Quarters Prime, the devices and model C. Why the three options are enabled in total? I will explain. That is because, and as I have said previously, that you need to install uh, this. You need to download these three software. That is Quarters Light, then Model C, and then Cyclone. So all the three softwares in the same directory or the same folder. That is the uh, disk drive new volume D. So the Intel uh, FPGA Prime software detected the required software that that are required to install here and the required software that are already downloaded in your PC so you need to for better uh, installation or better or, uh, or I can say that easy installation or without any hassle installation you need to at the same time you don't need to tick this because the Model Sim Intel FPGA edition is not the free one, and here in this case, the Intel FPGA Starter Edition is the free one of the Model Sim version. Uh, it's a similar one to the Quarters Prime Lite edition that is free version, and at the same time, Quarters Prime that is not the free version but the paid version. Uh, what I have said before uh, during this video. So you need to go to next, and you need to uh, again ensure that you are selecting the right directory or not let us wait for a while or it may take up to 5 to 10 minutes depending on your processor speed computer speed, processor speed ram and other factors so let us wait for a while uh, till it installs completely or successfully uh, the model scene software has also started installing after the quarter frame light edition has been installed successfully so let us wait for a while after that the cyclone 4 package that i'll be installing in this video will be installed then the whole installation process is finished let us wait for that installation and here that the quarters prime as well as the model team software has been installed successfully uh, now so this is the driver device driver installation uh, wizard that is the cyclone 4 installation wizard so then we will need to, to click next so the driver is installing now so at, at the end there is seen that the driver new driver name and the status that is ready to use that is we have, we have successfully Install a driver that is the Altera Cyclone driver. 
So here is the quarter slide prime software is now starting. So there is one prompt that is you to that is that will prompt you to buy quarter slide software license. That means the premium version. We don't need this and also we don't need this because this is all uh, this is used for the IP license file that is who have bought the Quartus Prime software with IP address input. So we'll just simply click this that the run the Quartus Prime software and it will simply run the light edition. Here you can see that the Quartus Prime light edition has been installed successfully and you can also uh, now then create any file that is this project or click to new project to wizard then install any so uh, any project like this according to your wish let us uh, rename this then ASDL1 and so on which will be installed uh, which will be created on your quarters prime folder the folder in which you have already installed that software for this prime software and then uh, the type of project is that from a project template that is from their event templates that are currently they are uh, developing or uh, creating and if you want to build from scratch or that will from build that type of project from scratch you will need simply click this empty project so then go to next and the, all the files that you uh, want to add and this, this is not the present files that is this is not the essential thing so let us go ahead and you have to uh, in this case you have to select the family that is the device family as cyclone 4 e that is that's because you have already installed the cyclone 4 package here according to this uh, installation of mine I have installed a cyclone 4 package so I'll simply select this family and that reason entries uh, specify this as uh, research sentences or any other this this is the it's not so much important and simulation should be model sim as you want to as I have said that the from the graduate levels only PSTL programming is being introduced so very log SDL that is this uh, PSTL sorry so you have to then click next and go, go to this and then click finish and it will open for you a uh, project so as you can see here so the uh, project has been created in order to run the model C that is the main software which will be used for running SDL codes as well as simulation as well as the test bench, test bench codes so what you have to do this you have to go to the search option of your windows and you have to select you have to search with by typing model sim so this is the mainly the model sim software which will be installed and uh, uh, especially i have to say that the model sim software will not be will not create a desktop shortcut on your PC it will be available only at the start menu so you need to the first time you need to go using the search option and of start menu then you have to write model sim and it will prompt you this uh, software and you only need to click this software in order to run model sim so this is the window which will be uh, giving you the model sim opener as, as soon as you open the model sim software then you have to jumpstart go to the model sim and you will need to create a project of course because create a new window in order to create a model sim so, so software so you need to create a project at this, at this case so create a project and you need to specify the name of your project that first I can hang it uh, what I say that first program then you need to simply click ok then create a new file file name should be same as the as you know 
that I will not refer to that that you need to uh, select the uh, file as your the entity num as your entity that is the entity of the file should be the same as this file of your current project so according to, to the VSD code so you'll simply write first file and uh, or other as you can uh, as you wish so then simply create close and you'll need to then run PSDL codes on the basis of it so you will not then you can here declare library or other types of things as included on the PSDL code so then you can write here entity then on that entity option you need to write the first file as first file of course because and then you need to go to the architecture option so so and so on and so forth so I'll not go too deeper into that so you will need to uh, construct your VSTL code according to it and at the end I can ensure that there will occur no errors upon here I have uh, there is error because I am not I have not completed the code because you need to specify the architecture name also with entity so you can see that error has been uh, error has been specified here or error has been given here because and which can ensure you that there has been installed successfully the device support that is in this case the cyclone 4 device support for your FP or for your FPGA development board in my case so that's how you can install uh, Intel FPGA software that is both Quarters Prime light edition that is the free edition and at the same time model C mentioned so thanks again everyone for watching this video and also and also subscribe to my channel if you are you haven't done already so bye bye and see you soon on my next video <laughs>